Mark McCall here, judging the image Cowboy's Dream. I have given this image a 74, and I really took my time with this image because having grown up around rodeos my entire life, um, I wanted to really give you the benefit of the doubt on this image. But uh, man, what a striking action pose, if you could call it that. But this guy's getting tossed around like a rag doll and eyes closed and hanging on for dear life. Wow. Uh, until I zoomed in on it and I was looking at where it really starts falling apart with the extraction. But the first thing I want to address is the lighting. Um, the lighting on his face. And of course, this is given that we know you don't have control over the lighting, but we're not, we're not judged on the location. We're judged on the final result. So if the final result isn't there, it's not there. And it falls apart for a couple of reasons and it hurts your score but maybe I can give you some ideas to improve future images uh, because I don't think we're going to be able to get, get this up to a uh, merit image okay the very first thing I noticed was your mat was brown but the color theme of the image is in the blue hues you know we've got the aqua shaps and the blue plaid shirt uh, but yet and that's in the cooler color temperatures but then we've got a warm mat a better choice would would have been to uh, create a blue mat or a mat that holds with the theme of the image and I've thrown one in there and this is a better presentation this is more of the the blues that are in the image okay that being said let's zoom in on the extraction and I'm really seeing it fall apart right through here. Uh, let's create a layer so we can draw on the image and it'll help you understand where the problems are. Uh, you know, right through here. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's paint with red. I still had my blue, uh, my blue selection. So, okay. Um, the edge isn't really sharp and not that it needs to be but look, I can see where it fades in and out right through here, um, you know, and see that it's fading through right there. Um, a judge at the next level is going to be on that like bark on a tree. And that brings up something else. It's very noisy, very noisy. Uh, again, having shot this type of stuff myself, I know how hard it is to freeze this action. But uh, I'm also looking, yeah, look at the hair right through here from the tail you know these are things that a judge at the next level or is just gonna really rip you to shreds um, so I'm, I'm just letting you know what to expect uh, I'm looking around the image the extraction through here is pretty nice actually um, it's a little too soft right here so the softness and the hardness of your extraction is fading in and out um, it looks like it's not complete through that area so uh, and look at the look at the noise on the face it's just really noisy probably a result of super high ISO and an attempt to freeze the action but it really hurts you with the overall quality of the image okay that being said oh you know what I want to mention something else the hat is uh, extracted on its own but the scale is off the hat would have been bigger in real life um, if we were to extract that hat and try to put on it, put it on him now, it'd be too small. It should have been bigger in your extraction. So, um, just letting you know, these are the things that a judge is going to key on later on down the road. I, I don't want you to put a lot of time into this because I think you'd be spinning your wheels. But I love where you're going with it. I love the the concept. Um, there's a friend of mine uh, on the East Coast named Thomas Hen that shoots a lot of this type of work so I'd, I'd encourage you to look him up Thomas Hen H-E-N-N -N, shoots a lot of this action type rodeo stuff and he merits with it regularly so study his work and uh, save your time on this one and uh, uh, I hope that those tips will help you improve future images